a uh, very, very talented player. Normally, he's a Pokemon trainer and Pichu uh, user, but right here, it looks like we're actually going to get some more Joker. Right, right. Joker, maybe from the stream. Joker. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I'm telling you, like, these talented players, the immediate taunt with Morgana, of course, why not? Just show up, uh, put on the display with what this character can do, even the taunt. This so, might be a little rough against uh -oh. Zelda, though. Woo! Well, her projectile from the night as well. Yeah. She has a neutral B that also, uh, is it Nairo's Love? That actually uses as a reflector as well. Nairo's Nehru's Love, which um, involves her in, like, a blue force field right there. It's triangular. Or, uh, kind of a like, double pyramid right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow, that back air. And not quite yet, though. Uh, ben has activated up smash. Still not enough. Wow, not even the borrower's win. That's a little chunky. <laughs> kind doesn't, of doesn't he doesn't like look it. like it, but he's a little thick, all right? There's uh, a, a uh, what's that? So the side special also becomes a, pow a more powerful move. Uh, normally the AHA with uh, Arsene active is called, it, it's like the leveled up version of AHA. It's uh, AHA again, I think. I mean, I've played Persona 5 but I just get and Persona 4, but those names are a little weird, like oh, pronounced. Yeah. And they don't actually um, normally say them in the game. Uh, they do, but it's I'm not paying attention too much. Okay. I like that down air option when uh, he's reading his opponent's get up yeah. option. Aegon. 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 That's what it is. Boots actually been holding neutral on the stage here for quite a while. It looks like he is struggling to get the kill off of the PT here. Um, but he had him in a ledge, he had him in a situation there that was kind of scary. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to solidify that stock, take it out. Um, he actually did a good job racking up a lot of damage. Yeah, absolutely. Staying alive. He's definitely got the lead here at 176%. He may lose this stock uh, soon if Scoots is able to find it. However, you know, we were talking about how it may look like a hard matchup, but I don't know because. Uh, these all these projectiles are going to be somewhat beneficial for Joker as he gets to use the down special, use the rebellion guard Ooh. to counter melee attack, to counter projectiles, uh, to reflect projectiles, excuse me, and to fill up his uh, SP gauge That's when he true. doesn't have our. I forgot about the reflector. Yeah. So he does have a uh, reflector counter duo combo right there. Really great stuff from Joker. Ooh, see, I, lo I love that neutral beast um, when it's face down. It has like done it's face straight down. It's so, so cool looking. I love that animation. Awesome. But also, the not seeing the screen is like, yeah, typically with um, Zelda and a lot of the top level Zelda players, even uh, out from our own region and Ben, who is like one of the top Zeldas, uh, number two, only to Mo in Vegas, they are constantly charging Phantom Knights. Because when you charge the Phantom, you can actually uh, release it and like run along with it a lot of the time. Depending on how long you charge it, it has different variations of the attack as well. And it also limits your opponent's options of how they're approaching you as well. So you have to keep that in mind, especially when you have Zelda as to take advantage of using them as much as you can. Yeah, and uh, actually we're down to our last box right here, Steve. Doing a really good job against Team Joker. Uh, oh, grabs him down with the grappling hook. That, that would have follow sick. up into a throw. Yeah, that's a move I, I'm excited to I didn't know if, if the grappling hook actually grabbed your opponent. Yeah, I, I forgot it about it. Okay. Aha tries to punish the landing with a down smash. Ooh, jab right there. Forward tilt with that kill them. That up tilt there? I believe that was up smash, up actually. Smash? Yeah, up tilt is when he the throws the dagger up. Dagger, yes. yeah. That was, oh yeah, the multi-hit yeah, multi Okay, yeah. All right, well, first um, first game of Joker from Queen 2 there was not too bad, uh, but we also are going to see a counter stage pick by Spoons here. Yeah, let's go to Mementos. What, what y'all doing? I know, this might give him the advantage he needs. So yeah, the music. I know, definitely. I want to love if he can utilize like, music in the stages as well. A lot more, like, no one ever does it. So. Now that we got through some of the as well, I was listening to the soundtrack we had from earlier. It sounded great. Actually, really great. So, now we have that in Smash. Let's go uh, FD. We go in Battlefield. Just play on that stage. <coughs> play the music. It's great. I'm glad we have to Smash Okay, so actually, 
Luke's making the switch over to the Pikachu. I don't know if this Three, is necessarily two, the right call because one, if you remember, Sweet T is actually a Pikachu main from Smash 4. Definitely got a lot of matchup familiarity, familiarity here. <laughs> Despite that, Spook actually taking a really strong lead has uh, 56, 763. Make that 75 wow. completely unanswered and is still going, but our Sand is out to play. Now Sweet T's damage output is going to be much higher. So let's see if we can actually get some hits in as our Sand is almost halfway expired now. Yeah, the thing is Sweet T did uh, use Sweet T in Smash 4, but in this game as well, I feel like Sweet T has like super, like his nair, his back air, they have both of the super fast. Oh, okay. And that'll be that. Untouched and on yeah, that stock. That, Perfect yeah. stock for Spooks, and we're starting to see a little bit of the unfamiliarity as well with um, Sweet Tea. Like, it looks like Joker is a free, a relatively nimble character with very good tools, but um, there are other characters who have superior frame data on them much quicker, such as Pikachu. Yeah, so is Pikachu, yeah. yeah and that, so that's what bad. I'm talking about. So it's starting to look like, actually, uh, Joker may suffer to characters who have superb frame data yeah. like that. There's the Thunder drag down into that second stop, only 52% on Spooks right now. Um, yeah, it's a good character for Spooks part here. For sure. Um, yeah, like you're saying, you know, that Spooky has this character, like, he plays the character, but he probably, obviously doesn't have the natural knowledge. Obviously, he's right. a joke. Exactly. Like, character. And so, and that's a great point, Ares, though, because uh, I was mentioning that Joker may uh, suffer to characters with uh, superior frame data or, or quicker movement, but uh, that may not necessarily be the case after all. We barely have an experience with this character, so it may just be that CT has yet to figure out the matchup. Yet to find a stock here. He tries to chase off stage with that order. He is really strong. Ooh. Struggling to take his first stock. Alright, okay. Spoo's gonna take his own life. He said, I'm just a home stock. <laughs> Oh I'm going in too hard. Alright, good down throw fair. So good, that fair is ridiculous. Oh, strong. Good percent on Sweet Tea already. 70, 75% yes. here. My word. Oh. Ooh, Ooh. I love that. I love that so hard. It's so cool. Yeah. It's, a little bit, it's a little bit distracting. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, his uh, awake, persona awakening portrait. Sick. Why did that come out? Because he awakened uh, his persona. He okay. like, uh, awakened our thing. Oh, that voice. It doesn't happen every time. Not every time, so not every time no. Yeah. I'm not really exactly sure when it happened. It happened, it happened, it happened once. once, once. Um, cool. Yeah, and, and our scent activates automatically when your uh, rebellion gauge, the SP meter, is actually uh, filled. So um, that just kind of comes across. It might be like a small benefit to him because he'd be like, whoa, whoa, oh, your opponent's gonna be like, ah, oh. Now I am expecting a character change here from Sweet Tea, probably the Pokemon trainer. That's it, yep. And uh, yeah, let's see. I mean, yeah, the, don't the think thing he wants is, the Pichu Pikachu. <laughs> for sure. And the thing is, like, he 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 kind of got destroyed in that game number two, but what happened as well is that he got all that time to really learn what Spooks is doing in neutral and how he's following up off of the attack. So now you can see it's starting to come to fruition as he has 41% completely unanswered. And he's keeping Spooks completely out of his zone. And up throw to up air, Ivysaur's coming out. Yeah, we're definitely gonna see the adaptation oh. coming out from Spooks here. Quick switch um, to the Charizard, really smart right there to recover. And this is also a Pokemon for one new character. Three Pokemon versus one Pokemon here. Yeah. That also gives Spooks a slight advantage because he is bringing out different characters with different spring data, different moves. And that is definitely a hard to control. Figure out how to deal with that. A complete turnaround here for Sweet D, taking that first stock with only 18% on himself. And you can kind of see what. Uh, he is doing right. He actually is just going in with his combos, getting his guaranteed comp, uh, damage, and then backing away because he knows from game number two that Spooks is just completely playing an aggressive game. And uh, you gotta be careful because when you're playing so aggressive like that and you're constantly landing on your opponent, uh, you're, they're gonna just dash back and punish with a smash attack or if they're reading your landing. And that's exactly what Sweet Key is doing right here. Down smash gonna miss for Spooks. Switch out, attack, stall. 
looking to spare that. Okay, a bit of an uh, advantage here for Spook. Yet to find the spot. Oh, he's already at 100. Good utilization of the draw there as well. Dead. That was draw was actually a little smart. So not only push it back more, but... Oh, up another one? Yeah, the string. Oh, and the vine whip. Yep, you gotta be careful. That was like 56 Ooh. damage. Yeah. Oh, forward smash. Still not gonna be enough. Charizard is the heaviest of the three Pokemon. Definitely get a fair bit. Okay, <laughs> get back. Nice. Beautiful switch there from Sweet T. Completely avoiding yeah. the Thunder Drag down. And that's gonna be a three stock for Sweet yeah. Oh, okay, well, got the charge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah got the download too, um, and really just went to work with the character. Really great stuff from Sweet T. I do, I do respect the fact that he did go Joker. Um, he definitely performed really well in game number one against Spooks. Uh,